I've been getting so many requests to test this product. I don't even know what took me so long. But anyway, here we are. So let's take a look at Fudu Shield. This is Leo and you're watching the PC Security Channel. What is Voodoo Shield? The name doesn't give away much, so let me just tell you how it works. This is a whitelisting program which learns various aspects of your system and then accordingly blocks most unknown files. Basically have three modes over here. We've got the training mode, the smart mode which is default and the always on mode. And if you want to install new applications it has this disable or install mode. Personally, I'm not a very big fan of this whole lockdown approach. I like it when it is combined with other technologies like file rating systems, sandboxing, hips, things like that. I like it the way it's implemented in Komodo, but if it's just a full lockdown, indiscriminately blocking all applications, I don't think there's much utility in that for an advanced user like me. Maybe this is going to be very useful in the grandpa scenario where you you have users who don't really know much about the computer therefore you want to put them in a lockdown environment so that they don't make any system modifications but that kind of access control is kind of inbuilt in windows at this stage but of course i do understand that this is going to be much more secure than the default standard user protection so let's go ahead and execute some malware. I know I've got like 1000 items here which is totally crazy and uh, we won't be executing all of these but let's try some out and see what kind of response we get in different modes. So right now we are in smart mode which is the default and let me see what happens when I execute a few malware samples. So Fudu Shield starts flashing and I believe it is going to prevent this malware from making any changes. There you go. So the threat was auto quarantined. It seems like it is using virus total in the background. So that is nice. It's kind of helpful. I just wished uh, that they had more customization options in the free version. Another threat is blocked. So it's doing a great job. And I like their alerts. They're very minimalistic and just tell you what you need to know. So I'm guessing that these are the detection ratios. The interesting thing is going to be what happens if I run a safe application. So let's grab a safe application. Or let's just run kill switch. Because it isn't really that popular. And it runs fine, no problem. So it seems like Voodoo Shield is doing a good job. It is probably implementing more than just an entire blocking approach. So it's actually a bit better than I anticipated. It's more like secure A+. Let's execute some more malware. Again, this stuff is going to get blocked. All of this is getting blocked. We have no processes running, I believe. Nope. So, I mean, this is pretty awesome, actually. It's getting rid of all the malware and it's not interfering with my everyday applications. Let's see if we can start up Process Explorer. There you go. So we were able to get to Process Explorer without any issues. Let's see what happens when we try to install an application in safe mode. So we have Glosswire set up right here and we're going to run through it and see if it's blocked. Ideally, I'd want it to still work because, you know, I don't want to change modes every time I need to install an application. And there you go. Our product is installed and we have um, everything working, I believe. Yep, Glasswire is up and running. So you are able to install applications with Voodoo Shield running in smart mode. So this is very handy and works great, actually. Of course, this is not going to be able to remove any malware infections. I think that goes without saying because it's not really an AV. But uh, when it comes to doing what it does best or what it's supposed to do, it works as advertised. 
Most of the threats here are being blocked very easily by Voodoo Shield. So these are all the files that I'll be running for now. All of these are getting blocked. There are no processes, so there's no point of doing a second opinion scan because I'm like sure that the system is clean. There's nothing really executed. So this is actually a great product that you can get for free and uh, works pretty well. Of course, if you're a security enthusiast, you'll probably want something with a bit more customizability and with more advanced features and malware detection and things like that. But if you're just a basic user looking for protection against a lot of threats or to improve or boost your protection for free, then this is probably a great product. Also, if you want to install something on your grandpa's system, or I don't even know, or your kid's system, whatever the case, um, you can install this. It's entirely automated, so it works really well for those cases too. So I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration. Now, I know some of you are probably like, hey, why didn't you run like 10,000 more samples? Because there's really no point. It's going to block all of them. So go and check out this product if you're interested. It is actually pretty cool. So please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to TPSC for more awesome videos and try to support me on Patreon if you can. I really appreciate it. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, Stay informed, stay secure.